Columbia's Martin Luther King celebration started with an honorary poor man's breakfast at the St. Luke United Methodist Church. Organizer Almeda Creighton said the breakfast gives people of all races a chance to get to know each other better. All the people come in and get together and they meet new friends and old friends and that's what Dr. King would have wanted us to do is get together. And so that's what we're doing. Dozens of people remember Dr. King at Columbia's MLK Memorial Garden, which is the fourth largest memorial for King in the country. Organizers said this year's celebration was extra special because it happened 50 years after King's I Have a Dream speech, 150 years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, and on the day of the second inauguration of President Barack Obama. A dream that he talked about and hoped for, uh, we are seeing some of that right now. We, the dreams certainly have not been uh, realized to its fullest, but it's certainly, uh, um, you know, certainly some aspects of it we can feel proud to, to, to see that the prophecy, some of the prophecy has been fulfilled. After a brief ceremony at the MLK Memorial, the group rode in a motorcade to the Second Missionary Baptist Church in downtown Columbia. The service reflected on the achievements of Martin Luther King Jr. and encouraged a brighter future for all Americans. A dream that he talked about and hoped for, uh, we are seeing some of that right now. We, the dreams certainly have not been uh, realized to its fullest, but it's certainly, uh, um, you know, certainly some aspects of it we can feel proud to, to, to see that the prophecy, some of the prophecy has been fulfilled.